Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Rule Breaker Bars. These were $1.49 each at Kroger. Kevin spotted these. Uh, I have the birthday cake. I have the deep chocolate brown. These are, um, it says beans, fiber, nut-free, gluten-free, and vegan. No nuts, great for school. Made in a dedicated gluten-free, allergen-free bakery. Uh, beans and brownies. That's a rule breaker. We didn't see that when we bought these, did we? No, we didn't. I like some, some of the beans. Um, and stuff. They're made in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, rule breaker snacks. One bar, 54 grams, is 240 calories. No gluten, dairy, eggs, soy, or nuts. So. Here we we'll go. See what they're like. um, it looks like a cookie. I called it a bar because uh, it smells good. I called it a bar because they don't specifically say what they are, but that that looks Is like that a, cookie, a yeah. cookie. Yeah, it looks just like a cookie. It's, it's like and a it bar. smells like a uh, <gasps> it smells like a uh, cookie. No. Yeah, looks good. Very dense. Good thing these eyes aren't sharp, so I poke, I poke myself. It tastes exactly how it smells. Yep. Yeah. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it smells like it has a strong vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. That's the birthday cake. And that's exactly what it tastes like. That is better than a lot of sugar cookies I've had. <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. yeah. Aftertaste is a little, it's got a little touch of bitterness to it, but not bad. No, not at all. But the textures are good. It's not the, it's not that grainy sugary feel, but it is a, a really nice texture. This is the deep chocolate brownie, and it it's 230 calories. Once again, it looks like a cookie. So they're not calling it a cookie, but I guess they didn't know what to call it, so they didn't put a name on it either, but they should just call them cookies. Roll breaker cookies is what they should call them. It says our first ingredient is chickpeas. That means you get protein and fiber in every bite. No, that brownie's a little dark, so it's got some bitterness there. Mm -hmm. I would have never known there was chickpeas in there, though. No, the the brownie is definitely has a bitterness to mm -hmm. it. It's not sweet, but I do like the flavor. Um, Trader Joe's had a bar, and I, I swear they quit making it, but they had a bar that I was absolutely in love with, and. Um, uh, I had to quit buying them uh, because they, th I loved them, but they upset my stomach. So, you know, sometimes the things you love, you just can't have. Um, but these have that same exact flavor. I, I like the flavor of that. Mm -hmm. I like yep. that, that little bit of bitterness to it. And it, it just, um, it doesn't really taste like uh, a brownie necessarily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It... Like a dark chocolate cookie. Yeah. Like a double chocolate cookie or something yeah. like that. But the, but both of these are very good. Yeah, you would never know that that beans were in there. No, not um, at all. They they don't taste like a traditional cookie. I mean, they don't have the same texture really. They're mm -hmm. more dense and firm. Right. Um, and a little more chewy, but um, but they're still really good. But you would never know flavor wise that they were anything other than a cookie. I know it's very hard to get different treats that are nut free. Mm -hmm. I know that can be a challenge for those of you out there that are looking for nut free. I, I really think that, I think as far as younger kids, I think they would enjoy the birthday cake just cause the, the brownie is a, a little bitter. I liked it, but you know, um, but that birthday cake just has a really strong vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind spending a dollar 49 for something, you know, a sweet treat, then I would absolutely give these yeah. a try. And they may have more flavors. The Kroger that we went to just had these two. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.